Stanford University. We've exceeded the cardiologist at detecting abnormalities in heart rhythms. We use deep learning, arrhythmia detection, using ECG signals. The models we're using are inspired by models that have worked really, really well on image classification, for example. We have a recording from a heart monitor, an electrocardiogram, and we feed that recording through a, a machine learning algorithm, and it predicts what the underlying arrhythmia is in your heart, or the normal rhythm, if that's the case. We do it with high accuracy across a large number of different types of abnormalities. I think it's an exciting time for machine learning and healthcare because we're able to collect a lot of data that we weren't able to before. Our collaborator, iRhythm, has built this patch that goes on people's chests and continuously monitors their heart signal. So we have the hardware and uh, the burden is on the software to be able to make use of this continuously monitored ECG. We've collected samples of about 30,000 patients. The electrocardiogram is actually one of the most useful uh, first-line diagnostic tools for trying to figure out what's wrong with someone's heart. Being able to automate that is really useful because it's a, it's a big workload for cardiologists, so it's very helpful to have a machine that can tell you what's going on with high accuracy. The second aspect is simply increasing the access we have to healthcare. We simply do not have enough cardiologists to supply uh, the cardiology needs of the whole world. And I think that's where this work can be really powerful. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.